creates a jetpack at a young age. And he came to sell it at a network festival. However, it rejects this because it was not functioning properly. He is dissatisfied with the waste of his efforts and regretfully departs from that location. He meets a young lady named Athena, who presents him with a lapel button. She begs him to follow her after tea is written. He goes on a water ride after that. Which leads to a tunnel, where his badge is scanned and he is sent to the lift. However, we learn that it is a teleport machine rather than an elevator. A machine that transfers data from one location to another without having to travel. It directs Robert to the country of tomorrow. He is astounded by what he sees over there. Everything was high tech there. I was noticing everything over there, and it seemed to be another word. A report steals his jackpot at that point. When Frank sees them, he becomes afraid. He slid down near a bridge while jogging, but Frank's jackpot saved him from falling. Frank notices that his prize has been totally fixed and is now operational. Meanwhile, Athena, who is also in this land, hotels him. This land, she says, is known as tomorrow's land. Frank began to live in this world with Tina and was having a great time there. With so many technologies in the world of tomorrow. After many years have passed in the film, we notice a girl named Casey, who works as an engineer at NASA. She causes purposeful damage to NASA programs in order for his father to repair them. To keep his father's employment in that country. Someone notices that she has been arrested this time. When Casey released the same label pin as Frank, she was having the same experience. Frank received the identical pin from Athena. Casey immediately reaches towards the land of tomorrow when he touches that lapel pin. She is taken aback by what she sees over there. She has never seen such advanced technology before. Everything was different and sophisticated there, and she was having a great time. His lapel countdown began while he was watching tomorrow's landing. This means that the battery is running low. She returns to Earth when the label pin counts down to zero. I was completely perplexed by everything that occurred. He has no idea what happened or where it occurred. Was that a fantastical place? Everything was a jumble. Finding that badge, traveling to Wonderland, and returning home. Wants to clear up her confusion, so he searches the badge for his brother. They arrive and discover the address of a store. She immediately goes there and shows them the credential she discovered in her suitcase. The keepers are taken aback when they see that badge. They are frantically looking into her. However, she was unaware of the badge, which she had obtained from her suitcase. When Casey was unable to respond, they began shooting her with a gun, and she fled. Athena appears at this point and fights well with the shopkeepers, killing one of them. She can be said to have broken one of them. We learn that those shopkeepers were actually robots after breaking one of the robots. Both Athena and Casey attempt to exit the shop. The second report is blasting himself right now. The shop burned down, but they both managed to escape. We note that Athena leaves her at Frank's residence. She walks away. He refuses to let her inside. But she manages to get into Frank's residence. Frank captivated her as she observed the amazing technology over there. She notices this and walks into a room with multiple displays playing. Views of the past and future worlds were presented on the screens. As he watches, Casey becomes increasingly perplexed. Frank has devised something that allows him to observe the future and the past. Frank enters the room and asks her to leave while she is watching. But Casey insisted on waiting until he sent her to the world of tomorrow. Frank strongly encourages him to stay away from tomorrow's land. But she is adamant about going. She realizes her companion is from the future when she notices all the high-tech items at Frank's house. Why does he have to leave tomorrow's land? He replied, built a future machine for it, and left tomorrow's land. Frank acknowledged her everything was true after noticing a screen on which the world was destroying. The earth will be obliterated. Casey does not believe in him and believes that nothing is possible. The destruction time on the screen rose as a result of her intense belief. Certainly, the Earth's life expands, while destruction expands. Frank couldn't believe his eyes. He recognizes that the things we believe frequently occur. 
Casey's firm belief that this could endanger the planet. For this reason, the destruction of the Earth lessens. During their conversation, a swarm of robots attacked Casey. Frank comes to her aid and places her in a bathtub. Before they can find Casey, he flies his tub towards them. Frank's house burns when they fly. All of the robots were eliminated. This tub leads them to a river that originates on Earth, not in tomorrow's land. They come upon Athena on the same river. Frank became enraged when he realized this. Because he kept his true identity hidden from him. She never told him as a child that she was a robot and not a human. Because he was in danger on Earth, he had traveled to tomorrow's land with Casey. Talks to Athena, and the two of them teleport to the Eiffel Tower. Frank informs her that scientists created a land, a futuristic land, a few years ago. According to Casey, scientists' goal was to invent something. No one stood in their way of the invention. He also claims that they christened it Tomorrow's Land. He claims that this tower was built for reasons other than the city's beauty. Rather, an antenna to pick up frequencies from the land of tomorrow. Aids in the transmission of land communications to Earth. Furthermore, this tower faces the opposite direction as the land of tomorrow. Frank continues, there is a rocket that assists scientists in taking them. They're known as spectacles. They are later discovered sitting on a spectacle. The Eiffel Tower splits into two parts as Frank begins. Outside, everyone is taken aback. They were all in tomorrow's land in the next scene. They are met by the governor of tomorrow's land. Franks tells him that the future can be changed with his futuristic machine. However, the governor does not believe or want to listen any further. Frank persuades him to pay attention. He leads Casey to his futuristic device. Casey was also intelligent and didn't seem difficult to deal with. Casey is currently seeing her house through the machine. Her house was on fire, as evidenced by the machine, but Casey is skeptical. She says it isn't possible by watching. As they watch, the reality of their future changes. As the destruction of the earth is over, her house returns to normal. Even after witnessing this, the governor remains skeptical. He tells Frank that the earth's climate is dangerous. People on earth, on the other hand, have no notion. The earth will be done in two months, according to the author. After this governor has sentenced them to prison. Athena answers the enigma of their situation in jail. She claims that Frank's futuristic contraption is accurate, but that what we believe will happen in the future. She also claims that his machine signals are sent to Earth in some way. People on Earth are now beginning to believe that the planet will be destroyed. Casey offers a way for stopping negative messages from being sent to the planet. As a result, humans will begin to think favorably. The future would be altered as a result. They inform him of this, but he refuses to trust them. The goal was for them to do something good for the environment, according to the author. Casey responds that they aren't doing anything because of their bad thoughts. As a result, people begin to believe in disaster. However, the governor does not listen to them. Later, he requests that his people send them to Earth. Frank greets the governor with his hands as he returns. The goal wasn't just to say hello, but to use the buttons on his watch to open Earth's door. His goal was to become Earth's governor. Casey and Athena would destroy the future machine from behind. When Athena hands Casey a bomb, she accidentally drops it on the ground. To save themselves, the governor and Frank rush towards tomorrow's land. They are now fighting in the realm of tomorrow. In a futuristic machine, Athena watches as the governor prepares to shoot Frank. So she steps in front of him, and Frank saves her, but Athena is shot. Her operating system was harmed as a result of this. A hefty door slams shut behind governor on the other side. Casey rushes up to his gun and takes it. Athena and Frank appear on the other side. Frank is taken to the machine by the demising robot, who asks him to activate her destructive button. He accomplishes this by activating the jackpot button from his boyhood. Frank leads Athena to a futuristic gadget. The machine, too, was failing and fell in on the governor, who died as well. Casey returns to Earth to greet his family later in the action. 
Her father and brother were engineers here, allowing them to live in the land of tomorrow. Casey and Frank are the governors of tomorrow's land in the final scene.